here the solenoid lock will work based on the temperature. If the temperature is greater than 32 degrees Celsius, the lock will turn on and if it is less than 32, it will turn off. Also, we can measure the humidity, air quality and also the light value. The components required for this experiment are ESP32 board, solenoid lock, DHT11 sensor, MQ135 sensor, LDR sensor, 5 volt relay, 3 batteries, connecting cable and connecting wires. Now we log in to the Blink.Cloud website. Then go to Developer Zone. Here click on New Template and give the template name Smart Classroom Environment Monitoring. And select the hardware as ESP32 and connection type as Wi Fi. And click on the Done button. Now go to Data Streams. Here click New Data Stream and select the Virtual Pin. Here give the first variable name as Temperature and select the pin as V0, data type as double, maximum value as 100 and select the cell, uh, unit as Celsius. You can change the color if you need it. Now click on the create button. Now again go to new data stream and select virtual pin. Now the second variable name is humidity. Here the pin is V1, data type is again double, maximum value is 100 and the unit is percentage. Click on the create button. Now again go to new data stream and select virtual pin and the third variable is air quality. Here the pin is V2, data type is integer and the maximum value is 1023 and click on the create button. Now again go to new data stream, select virtual pin. So the fourth variable is light level. So here the pin is V3, data type is integer and the maximum value is 4095 and click on the create button. Now the final variable which is for the uh, solenoid log status. Here the pin is V4 and data type is string and click on the create button. Now go to web dashboard. Here we need to drag 4 gauge widgets. Now go to the first gauge settings and here choose the data stream as temperature and click save. Now go to the second gauge settings. Here choose data stream as humidity and click save. 
now go to third gauge settings this is for air quality so choose air quality data stream and click save now go to the fourth gauge settings this is for light level choose the data stream light level and click save now we need to drag the label widget for the solenoid log status now go to the label settings here choose the data stream as solenoid and click save now save the template now go to devices here click new device and then select from template here we can see the template which we created select that and click the create button now we got the template id template name and authentication token click here and copy these values now go to your program and paste the values and then you need to enter the wi-fi username and password also you need to install the blink and the dht library now we need to upload the program for that go to this drop down so here the port will be already selected if you want to change the board click this edit button here you can search for the board we are using esp32 board so search for esp32 dev module select the board click ok now click this upload button and upload the program now the program is successfully uploaded to the esp32 board now we can set up the Blink mobile dashboard. For that, download the Blink IoT application from the Play Store. Once you open the application, you can see the template which we created in the Blink web dashboard. Now click on the template, go to settings. Now click the plus icon from the bottom of the page. Here also we need to add 4 gauge widgets. The label widget will be available only in the paid version. So we are not adding that. Now click on the first gauge. Here choose the data stream as uh, temperature. Go to design and give the title as temperature. Go back. Now click the second gauge. Here choose the data stream as humidity. Go to design and give the title as humidity. Now go back. Now click the third gauge. Choose data stream as air quality go to design and give the same title that is air quality now go back now click the fourth gauge choose data stream as light level go to design and give the title as light level go back and again click the back button now the setup is completed now we can check the output 